Hi my friends, welcome back to Cinderella's Kitchen. Today I thought I would show you how I use my Cricut and my, um, my printer that I use for cookie images and show you how I print them out and how I cut them out using my Cricut. And I'm going to be doing little imaged cookies. And I'll show you how I get those done. Thanks for watching this video and hope you like it. Okay, so what we start with is I'm going to be showing you my cookie setup for doing the edible images. First, I am going to use my laptop to create my images and I use the Cricut Design Space to do that. And then I will be using my edible printer and my Cricut. So let's get started with making your images. Okay, so to get started with making our edible images, we're first going to open our Cricut Design Space. And we're going to start a new project. And I've already uploaded the images that I'm going to need. So we're going to click our image, insert the image. And this is just the front of my business card. Um, and our since our cookies are round, we're going to insert a shape of a circle. And then we're going to try to get as much of the image we can in our circle. We have our, this is the, under the circle is what we're going to be cutting. So I'm just going to send the circle to the back. And then I'm going to click all of our image and then down in the right bottom corner, we're gonna put we're gonna hit the slice because we're gonna slice up our image. All we really need is this inside part. So all of the rest of this we can delete. And this is all we're gonna need. And our cookies are about a two-inch cookie. So we are just going to Go up here. I think it's two a little over two two inches, two and a half inches. So we're just going to resize our image. There we go. And then we're going to duplicate it. Duplicate it. Once we have our image to the size we need, we're going to make three of this kind of cookie. So we're going to duplicate that. And then for our next cookie, we're going to use our logo. And this is already cut and print, but I'm still going to do the same for this one. I'm going to insert a shape of a circle. I'm going to put this as a white background, and then I'm going to send the circle to the back. That way, and then I'm going to go ahead and make the circle the size that we need. And then we will just fit our image inside. Ooh, look at that. And then I'm going to capture the whole image. And I'm just going to flatten it because I don't want the, the black border around it. I want it just to be a white border going to flatten our image and there we go and then I'm just going to duplicate this one two more times for our six cookies and that's that then we're going to go over here as you can see it says cut and print if you were just cutting out like the individual letters the individual cupcake it would just say um, cut and this way you know that it's going to cut and print actually print and then cut but it's cut print for the image then we're going to hit make it and here we have our image ready to print 
um, you can see it's on the mat. It'll show the mat, the 12 by 12 mat that we're going to use. And you can see where the paper is not 12 by 12. It's um, 8 and a half by 11, like a letter, or just a basic standard paper. Um, I usually, what I do before I print it on my edible images because they are precious and I don't want to waste them, I will print my image out on um, cardstock or printer paper just to make sure that it is the right size, it's not too big, it's not, you know, too small, that it will be the right size. And then once I've made sure that that size will work for my cookies, then I hit continue. Send to printer. And I just want to make sure that you're always using the correct printer. And then there's an add bleed um, option. This right here is perfect if you're cutting out decorations or things like that on cardstock or that you don't want um, to have a white edge or white border, you hit the add bleed option and it'll bleed the border just a little bit so that when it cuts, there's no white on the border. There's just um, color. But I don't want that on my cookies because I don't want the image, I don't want to add a bleed to the image. Um, it already soaks in the ink into the edible image paper, so I don't want it to, to smear or, or do that. So, and I don't have really a border on any of my images that I want to do that to. So we are just going to take that option off and then click print and send it to the printer. Have our paper in our printer. And there it goes. And there we are. And when you print your image, you just want to make sure that you are printing on the, the icing image, the icing paper size, and not the, the plastic. The plastic will be on the bottom. Now, when you get your image out, it is going to be a little wet. You can see that it is wet. So, we are going to let it dry. While we're waiting for our image to dry, um, I just want to let you know that um, for my Cricut, I do use separate blades for my icing images. Um, this blade I use for my um, icing images or my cookie stuff. Um, I also have a separate blade, which is the same style of blade. It's just a different blade that I use if I'm using, um, going to be cutting vinyl or cardstock or anything like that. And I do clean my Cricut regularly before and after I do food or other images just because you don't want any of that cross-contamination but you do want to let your image completely dry because you don't want it to go under the blades or under the rollers and it'll smear it is going to smear just a tiny bit on the outside because it's darker and it's cutting um but i want to try to get it as as dry as possible and it's not going to dry out and crackle I mean if you lift it out all day it will but just for a few minutes just to let the image dry it'll be fine okay now all we have to do is load our mat and the little blinky light we'll load our mat and then once it's loaded the little cricket light will go on and just press the cricket light when you're doing a print and cut, it's going to do like a scan because of the black border around the image that just basically tells where it's going to be cutting. And so it's scanning and it's looking for that. Um, if it doesn't recognize it, it'll let you know. But usually it's pretty good at recognizing the borders.
And there you go. Our images are ready to put on our cookies. Here we have our images ready to go and our cookies. And I apologize, these are not the prettiest cookies I've ever made, but these are just for me and just for the video. But um, last night I was getting ready for bed and I realized I needed to bake and ice cookies for today's video so that the icing would be, be hard enough for them. So now we're just gonna take some piping gel, our little paintbrush, and put our images on our cookies. So this is what I like to do to my cookies. I like to peel off, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. I like to peel off the big, sorry, you can't see that, the big paper. Peel off the big part so that you're only left with Sorry, this is harder than I thought one-handed. You just want to peel this off so you're not left, all you're left with is your little, your little images. I'm using some just basic Wilton uh, clear piping gel. I put some in here and then I am just going to brush the piping gel on my cookie. It's harder to do it one-handed. So just brush it all over, just a thin, a thin coat. And then I'm gonna take my little spatula, my little Cricut spatula, and gently get my image off. Once you have it kind of going, then you can just peel it off. And then we're just going to stick it on top of our cookie and center it. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna attempt to do one more one-handed. So just brush your cookie with your piping gel. When you have two free hands, it's a little bit easier. It won't slide all over the place. Okay. And then we're going to start one of our images. Peel it up and stick it on our cookie. And it does have a border around it. We are gonna put sprinkles, so that will be okay. And then I'm just gonna get the rest done and we'll see what they look like once they're finished. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a good image for you because for this, I do need two hands. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my royal icing and I'm just gonna go around the border of my cookie around the image, just some royal icing. And then we're going to just dunk it in our sprinkles. And then I like to just go around the sides If there's anywhere inside that needs to be moved down a little while the icing's still wet is the time to do it. a little border of the royal icing. And then just dip it all the way around in your sprinkles. Oh, 
and there you go. And here are our edible imaged cookies.